Welcome in Babita Science Tutorial. Let's start the second part of the chapter 1 of uh, class 10 science, NCRT science. In the previous topic, uh, we have discussed about the chemical reaction with three activities and the characteristic of the chemical reactions. Today, we will start new topic that is a chemical equation. This one is the chemical equation. Now, students, the definition of the chemical equation is the method of representing a chemical reaction with the help of a symbol and formula of the substance involved in it. That is called the chemical equation. Now, in the chemical equation, uh, with the help of I will explain you with the help of this activity 1.1 in the activity 1.1 uh, we have taken the magnesium ribbon and uh, magnesium ribbon is a burnt in the presence of uh, oxygen and it is a uh, converted to magnesium oxide no students then this chemical reactions can be represented in the two ways if we write this one in the word and uh, another one is uh, you will uh, write this uh, chemical equation with the symbol. Now, this one here it is written. Now, see students here, this reactions, uh, it is written in the words when a magnesium ribbon is burnt in, in uh, oxygen. No, no this uh, uh, words is written in the form of a word equation. Now, see here, this is called the word equation. When we write this chemical reactions, when we write this chemical reactions in the word, then we can say that word equation. Now, see here, magnesium, magnesium plus oxygen. It is written in the spelling. It is a word. That is why it is called the word equation. Magnesium plus oxygen, it gives rise to magnesium magnesium oxide now students uh, in the in the second paragraph they want to explain to you about the reactants and the products this one uh, this one magnesium plus oxygen is your reactants oxygen and magnesium it is written on the left hand side those substances which can write in the left hand side that is called the reactants and the, those substances that you can write in the right hand side that is called the products and between the you will see here and between the reactants and the products here arrow sign has given and this is a called arrow sign in which it means that when the magnesium is react with oxygen or we can say that when the magnesium ribbon is a burn in the presence of a oxygen then it will give rise to a new product that is a called the magnesium oxide and magnesium oxide is your formula magnesium oxide is your sorry it's a your product and the formula of the magnesium oxide is uh, i told you earlier also that is a mgo that is a mgo in the in this paragraph the in this paragraph you will see here the substances that undergo chemical changes in the reaction 1.1 magnesium oxygen are the reactant the new substance is a magnesium oxide formed during the reaction as a product i already explained to you um, about this paragraph in the last paragraph also same thing is written uh, see here the reactants are written the reactants are written on the left hand side left hand side with plus sign with plus sign between them no the reactant I mean the reactants you will write on the which side on we will write on which side left hand side no and the product you will write on the right hand side and see here between the reactants and products with the reactants and products arrowhead spots no this one is the 
arrow had point. Now in this paragraph, they want to say that only about the chemical equation means when the chemical reactions occur, then you will write that chemical reactions in the chemical equations in the equation and we can represent the chemical equation with the help of the word and the symbol but here in this paragraph they have uh, 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 they have written this chemical reactions in the in the form of a word equation the student this is this is a, you call the word equation but students you know word equation is not um, it's too long no it's too long that we can write this word equation in the simplest way also let's proceed to next uh, topic and our next topic is a uh, writing a chemical equation now students same thing is here i told you that when we when the chemical reaction occurs it means we have to write the chemical equation and we will write the chemical equation in the form of a word or with the help of the symbol in the previous topic uh, uh, we have written the chemical reaction in the form of a word but in this one here it shows that how to write the, that chemical reactions with the help of the symbol now here you will see here they have taken the symbol of a here magnesium you will here they have taken the chemical uh, sorry they have taken the symbol no the magnesium the symbol of the magnesium the symbol of a magnesium is a mg and symbol of the oxygen is a o2 we can write the oxygen in the molecular form and when the magnesium is a combined with oxygen then it will give a new product that is a magnesium oxide but students you will see here we cannot be use the word means spelling of a magnesium we are in the chemical equations we are using the here symbol of element the symbol of magnesium is a mg the symbol of oxygen is a o and when the magnesium and oxygen is combined together then it forms a new product that is your mgo then mg mgo is your product it is a what students it is a product okay and or uh, and product is we will write the product on the right hand side and on the left hand side you will see here magnesium we are using the symbol of the magnesium here and oxygen no then it is your called the reactants now you will see here again reactants when the reactants is combined together then it forms a new product and that is a called the magnesium oxide and this is your chemical reaction and chemical reactions involves chemical changes which we cannot be reverse back now uh, in the in this paragraph students see here in this paragraph uh, count the number of atoms now in this paragraph they want to say that now count the number of a atoms here now you see here here oxygen has two atoms and here oxygen has only one atoms then uh, you can see here uh, in the uh, can left hand side is equal to right hand side or we can say that number of atoms of the elements present on the left hand side is equal to the number of atoms of the right hand side no it's not equal see here here oxygen has a two atoms oxygen has a two atoms but magnesium oxide has a only the one atom then we can see that the number of atoms is not equal on the both sides on the basis of this one on the students on the basis of this one number of atoms now uh, chemical equation is divided into the two one that is a uh, that is your balanced equation and unbalanced equation balanced equations and another is a unbalanced equation the we can see that balanced equation 
when we will see that by it's a balance equation when uh, when we will see that it's a balance equation when the number of atoms is equal to the number of atoms of the right hand side means the number of atoms uh, which is a present in your left hand side is equal to the number of atoms of uh, the right hand side if the number of atom is the same then we can see that it is a balanced equation it is a balanced equation if number of atoms is not equal then we can say that it is unbalanced unbalanced equation no then let's proceed further such a chemical equation is a skeletal chemical equation yes students now you will see here another word came here a skeletal a skeletal uh, chemical equation yes a skeletal chemical equation now in the skeletal chemical equation uh, underline this skeletal chemical equation for a reaction means a skeletal chemical equation in which left hand sides is not equal to the right hand sides or we can see that chemical equation is not balanced so we have covered here two topics students first one is the what is a chemical equation and uh, how will uh, write the chemical equation then uh, we can write the chemical equation in the word equation okay when we use the spelling of the element that is called the word equation and when we we'll use the symbol that is uh, uh, like magnesium mg plus o3 it means it shows that you can write the chemical equation in the two way by using the word and by using the symbol but we can use the simplest way for the chemical reaction we can use the simplest way that is the that is your symbol the in the chemical equation we can use the symbol of a element that is a very easy now let's proceed to the another topic okay students uh, first of all we will do one thing before starting the another topic that is a sub topic is sub topic of a chemical equations 1.1.2 that is a balanced chemical equations and this topic is a very very important if you understand what is a reactant what is a products uh, number of atoms left hand side is equal to right hand side then you can better understand this topic balanced chemical equation then before starting this balanced chemical equation you can uh, read out all this topic thoroughly and you if you have any problem then you will comment me in my comment box and uh, i will reply you very uh, shortly then uh, you can uh, first of all you can see this all topics nicely thank you and have a nice day